Sue is leaving her coffee all over the Goodwill. Can you believe it? I don't know anybody who's that inconsiderate to leave their coffee all over the Goodwill. Okay, I do it in like every video. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well Sue and I are at the Goodwill and we are about to head in and look for some resale treasures. We don't have a whole lot of time today, but I've got good feelings. Well, and we had one complete bust at a Goodwill, one huge success at a Goodwill, so let's see which way this one leads. Yes, absolutely. Let's go see what we All can right, find. see you later. All right, well I found some vases that I kind of like. I don't know, $2 a piece, maybe not. I lifted them up and I didn't really like the weight of them as much as I thought I would, so never mind, let's keep going. All right, I love this Goodwill because it's color coordinated, because I'm weird like that. That's kind of fun, but not really. And here we've got some Irish coffee mugs haul. Hmm, let me think about this. Okay, I thought about it. Yes, I'm gonna do it. For a dollar a piece, haul Irish coffee mugs. Yeah, I'll do it. Why not? They're kind of cool. It's five of them. Canisters. I know, I buy them and I say I'm gonna list them and then I never get them listed, but I just found some more canisters. <laughs> and they're pretty filthy. Um, those are false graph, I think. They're not, well, they are marked. Let me do the other thing, this false graph. I absolutely, I cannot read what it is. Yeah, false graph. Um, they're not worth anything, right. unfortunately. They are pretty, though. Not a big deal. Um, keep looking. Keep looking. Um, we need mugs. Um, these are $5 for three. They're graduated and they've got strawberries on them. Of course, they are a little dirty. And I'm debating whether or not I'd be able to get them clean. Um, I'll clean them. I know how. Sue knows how. They're coming with us. Anything. We just have to be careful because the lids aren't taped on and they want to jump off. So, those are going to come with us. All right. There's yeah. three of them. Really well I you, love so. canisters. That's if and when I get them listed. <laughs> Sue just found a teacup. Unfortunately, it's just the teacup. I would love to have the saucer that goes with it. Oh, are you are you tag peeling? Right. No tag peeling allowed. Guardiel. Guardiel. Ooh, that sounds so fancy. Oh this yeah, beautiful. it's beautiful. All right, it's gotta come with us. I just found this mug. That's a goodie. I think I'm gonna change my name to Crazy Mug Lady. I've been toying with the idea, so. No, you're the crazy lady. <laughs> Somebody else is gonna have to be the crazy lady. But mug I do lady. love this mug. It's made in Italy. Very pretty florals, bright colors. I love it. I'm gonna look around and see if there isn't a saucer for this. Even if there isn't a saucer, it's coming with us. Yeah. Alright, let's keep playing. Okay, so I actually spotted this through the shelves, but I just found this. And I think I'm going to get this for my dad. All right, so I just snatched up this pitcher. It is a Talavera pitcher for five bucks. So this will sell between 35 and $65, um, depending this on the design. Is a beautiful piece, it's very yeah. bright. It's too bad we can't find the cups that go with it because then it would be like cha-ching. But the picture itself is really nice no, and colorful. We haven't even gone well, yeah, we're not even aisle. in the yellow aisle yet. Oh Maybe it might be hiding cups. in the yellow aisle. So I've got I've got good feels. Let's keep looking. Sue is leaving her coffee all over the Goodwill. Can you believe it? I don't know anybody who's that inconsiderate to leave their coffee all over the Goodwill. Okay, I do it in like every video. But I just found this. It's very gold and stripy. Oh, I like that. Isn't it nice? Yes, it is. I'm going to set it in the cart before I lose my grip. Check to see if it's pulling the gold off. Oh, why do you have to be a joy killer? I'm That's sorry. Andrew's job. Mm. 
All right, I guess we should check it. Oh, hold on. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to. Let me just do it very, very carefully. It is not. Oh, no, maybe a little. Not, well. Eh, 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 no, 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 we're safe. If it's done we're carefully safe. enough, yes. Oh. But those Dorothy Thorpe glasses. Oh, I know, that silver fade stood no chance. All right, so we did pretty good at this Goodwill. I got some goodies, I'd say. I'm really in love with that picture. It's a oh, Mexican yeah, that picture, is nice. and it's just fabulous. I don't think it's super old. It's pretty modern, but just but still, beautiful. The colors are just lovely. Beautiful colors. And we got some really nice stuff. A couple of stoneware pieces that were very nice. Some mugs. That, mm. that little gold candy dish. Yes. That's a sweet piece. I like that a lot. But we're about to head across the street. We're gonna hit one more thrift store. Hopefully find a few goodies. Um, yes, because we've been working all afternoon to make up for that first bust at the first Goodwill. <laughs> yes. So, so hopefully we find some goodies. But now we'll we figure they owe us. Yes, that's right. We'll get back soon a few. All right, so not only is the music getting louder here in Community Aid, but the prices just keep going up. So I spotted this, $13, but I think I like it for 13 bucks, so I'm actually gonna end up taking it with me. It's Cowboy, and I think um, he's pretty cool, so I'm gonna grab him for 13. I'm not sure how much yet I can get for him, but I also grabbed these Santa Claus mugs for $2 a piece, and this piece of glass that I believe to be in Poli. They've got like some little wine charm on there, which I'm probably gonna end up ripping off. Oh my God, it's $8. I don't know about this, Sue. I'm not feeling good about this. $8. I feel like that's a lot. I do. Ooh, this, however. Hey, I like that. That's kind of cute. Is that rice? Is that I don't know. This is your thing, not mine. <laughs> you have to talk really loud, though, over the music. Otherwise, we get a strike. No, actually, this is just a gorgeous little bowl. It's cute, right? Yes, I thought this was rice. You will often find some pieces with rice embedded right into. Oh, that's cool. Yep. And of course, in the firing, the rice is, is burnt out. Oh. And you just have the little rice impressions. Oh, cool. But that's not what this is. No, it's just art. Just I think I'm going to put this one back because for $8, I know I could make money on it, but it's a hassle to ship and I'm not going to make enough money on it. So that's actually going back up. That one needs to stay. This I like. It's 13, but I'm gonna take but it. You like it so. Looks like we've got some teak here. Of course, it's Target home because they're going the mid-century modern route, and they like to fool me. Darn you, Target! Never mind. Keep moving. Let's keep moving. This is kind of a cute piece. What do we have here? It doesn't have a price on it because somebody tried. Taking the tag off. Yes. Look at that. Yeah, they simply removed just removed the, the price. I wonder if they'd still sell it to me or if they'd think that I was the culprit there. Oh. I've got video proof that I didn't do that. Well, not only that, but we put them back. Nice piece. I me. like it. Let's find out at least. Yeah. It doesn't have to ask what it is. It's true. Or what they'll sell it for. It's probably like twenty dollars, though, judging by the other prices here today. <laughs> All right. So for as much as I knock false graph, this is actually very cute, and I think I might have to take it with me. I think it's a utensil holder. Oh, it is. <laughs> I hate false graph, but I just can't say no to that because there's cats on it. Oh my god. Do you know what I'm are, saying? They're cute cats. They are absolutely adorable cats and it's only four dollars. It's coming with me. Yeah, look at all those. It's cat and if it, if I can't make pot. money on it, I'll just keep it for myself. It's broke. That is really unfortunate. It is I cute. I was thinking to myself, Jocelyn may have finally gotten enough animals to make even her happy. <laughs> I've got a whole boat full of animals, but they're broken. So you're staying here. Oh, goodness. I'm going to go look at the furniture and see if there's any antique desks. 
I found another purse. It's not a phone cord purse, but. Ooh. It's a fun purse. Definitely, look at those colors. Genuine leather made in the USA. It's vintage. Oh, it is. It's terribly vintage. And it's so colorful and fun. That really rather screams, I am a hippie. Ah, I love it. I love hippie purses. That is coming with me. Let's keep looking. There's more purses to see. Okay. Somehow I missed this purse when I was walking by, but I absolutely love it. It's made in China. It has vintage lines. It's missing its strap, though. Yes, but it's still perfectly usable as a handbag. Absolutely. Um, what are we looking at here? Six dollars. Yeah, they're all six bucks. You know, I don't think you could make a lot of money on this. On the other hand, every now and then, it's fun to throw just a fun piece onto your site because interesting items, especially on your Etsy site, will drive traffic through. And this Someone is interesting. Someone sees something like this, they stop, they'll look at the rest yeah, of their stuff. Yeah, I love it's it. It's just part of marketing. Um, in the real world, we would call this a loss leader. You might take a loss or not make a lot, but it's bringing other people into your shop. Every I love now it. And then it's worthwhile strategically just as a business move to do this. I think it's gonna be awesome. I think it's attractive. I think Look at those lines! It's beautiful! Somebody who really likes that sort of mid-century style. It's not exactly a Grace Kelly bag, but it's close to it. <laughs> Someone who likes that style is really gonna go for this. And then other people are going to come in, take a look, stay, look at other stuff. Oh, Again, strategic I'm a little bummed about this, but... Well, yes, and I, mean, I, I have a concern about this. On the other hand, it's still not good. It's it. not yes. that bad. It's, it's and really oh, not. I forgot this one. I also grabbed this one. I like this right. one. This it's like one. 70s. Yes, I would <laughs> Velcro. Say 70s. It's got Velcro. It's got an outer pocket. Definitely it's got handmade. That whole Earth Mama woodsy look. Yes, to it. it's perfect. Today is a purse day, Sue. So. Okay, I think we just picked our last purse of the day, and it is this hey. beautiful velvet purse. Very nice. It's got rods, dowels. Here. Yeah, it's absolutely yeah. handmade. It's got this wonderful knitting bag <laughs> look to it. No, I'm knitting I know. Right. That's what I like about and it. It's velvet. The fabric is really pretty. And it's so soft. The thing I like about it is that this is striking but neutral all mm -hmm. at the same time. You know, you've got greens, blues, browns, but still, overall, it's neutral. It's, it's go good. With a lot of stuff. It's good. This is cool. Yeah. Now, focus. Focus. Now, we've talked about purses before. I don't usually look for designer purses. What I'm looking for is the fun, funky, playful purses. They do well for me. Um, most, like, 85% of the times when you find purses, designer purses at thrift stores, they're gonna be knockoffs. And I'm not gonna sell knockoffs without knowing if they're real or not, so. And, because we're selling them for the fun factor, not for the name brand. Well, there is. Obviously, these two are handmade. This one's made in China. <laughs> Have we talked about this before? That whole toddler grandma thing where older women are just having fun with what they're wearing. They're wearing cute clothes, they're carrying funky little purses, bless their hearts, good for them. Yeah. Um. All right, Sue, let's get out of here. Say bye-bye to the purses. All right. Bye-bye, well, purses. No. Say See you later, purses. Let's go. A whole cart full of purses. Today's a good day. Do you like a small box for the items or a bag? Oh, that would be awesome if you could just stick them in a box. It makes it easier to carry. Thank you. 50% off everything, Sue. I, I know. Boy, we have just gotten lucky today. Today was a lucky day. Yeah. Except for the first place. That wasn't so lucky. Every now and then. You just have to go through something bad to guarantee that the fates are going to give you something good to make up for it later on. We call that karma, my friend. 
We're gonna pretend we're 60s hippies and we're gonna say, karma, cool. <laughs> After our purse like, purchases, I think it's good. Groovy, yeah. Yes, all of those above. <laughs> all right, well we lucked out because we just happened to walk right into 50% off day on a Thursday. Yes, and <laughs> after that first disappointing Goodwill adventure. Which was in the last video. And we were just completely expecting that it was just going to be one bomb Yeah, after we another. thought that was going to throw off the whole Instead, day. Instead, we've done nothing but really hit nice, nice sales. It's been an epic day. And we've gotten some really interesting stuff too. I'm so thrilled about those purses. And then when she rang them up and it was like $3 off, $3 off, I'm like, whoa, wait, what? So the total spend yeah. at Community Aid today was only $28. The big announcement. The big announcement? It's actually a little announcement. I don't know. That's, it's that's not, that not big. like, yeah, play it down. I mean, come on. It's a big announcement. Wow, it's a big deal for me. <laughs> I am actually starting a YouTube channel. We have decided that we need a place to go, uh, for you to go, to get detailed information. The how-tos, the tutorials. You know, you want to know how to ship. You want to know whether to list on eBay or Etsy. These are things we can't do on the fly as we're going through thrift stores. Mm -hmm. We'd love to be able to do it, but it's just different. So now we need a different format to give you that information. And so we're going to show you how to shop for things, what to shop for, mm -hmm. what you want to buy, where you want to find it, how much you want to pay for it, how you're going to ship it and move it on out, where you're going to list it. And so that's what I'm going to do. But uh, we don't have a name for it yet, do we? Actually, I'm oh. probably going to go with what one of our viewers suggested. And she said, sue me. <laughs> We're gonna go with that one. Yeah. So anyway, we will give you details on that as it progresses. We will be, I'll, I'll be doing the whole video tomorrow, so make sure you stay tuned. We'll talk a little bit about everything that I paid for the items and how much I expect to get for it in my Etsy shop or on eBay. And I will see you guys tomorrow, later. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you've spotted something that you just can't live without, don't worry. I've put a link to our Etsy store down in the description.